Where are the dipples? Jeff, Susie. <laughs> and our van is a 1987 Chevrolet that we've owned for six years now. We bought it empty. It was a painter's van with dents and paint on the inside, and that was about it. Uh, we've done it in our style. My wife, I, and my son have done pretty much everything on the van except for the airbrush work. We did design the art, though. Yeah, we did. did the, the artwork is my design. The artwork was done by a gentleman named Carlos Montoya out of Elizabethton, Tennessee. He does very good airbrush work and artwork and very reasonable. Uh, the van, like I said, when we got it, was a painter's van. Had It was covered in lettering. It was vinyl, so it took us about two days to get the lettering off of it and we repainted it the factory color and then the artwork I had a flyer from years ago for a bike run in Zanesville Ohio that was put on by Honda and Valkyrie and that was on their flyer a form of that and I changed it around the, I changed the girl around and whatnot but the dragon's basically the same the dragon on the back is my idea. The dragon on the other side is just a, a co-work of I and Carlos coming up with some ideas. The, the side pipes are hooked up. It's got crackers, 15 eights on the back, 15 sevens on the front. Uh, as every other van, it's a work in progress. There's still a lot of stuff I would like to do to it. Uh, we have changed the drivetrain out from the original 305. It has a 350 motor out of a 94 Chevrolet police car with a chip and whatnot. And it goes pretty good for what it is for a pretty stock motor. Uh, when we originally started looking, I was looking for an older van and I couldn't find any in our area. And we looked for two years until I came up with this one and yeah it's a newer van it's an 87 but with the 87 i still get the looks of the the earlier but i get the fuel injection and the gas mileage and the air conditioning and the reliability of the newer van compared to the older van uh, it didn't have sway bars on it. we put sway bars on it. we've redone the whole suspension the motor the transmission about the only thing i haven't been into is the rear end on it that's not stock is it no well, the tail light covers are are from kurt Colas up there i'm not sure what his business goes by he's a great gentleman i will be buying a set of flares from the man uh, early style flares that's one of the things left i i want to do on it uh we put it's all wired it has led lights in it which you can't see during the day but it's a speaker and whatnot under bed built in bed when we first built the van it just had a fold down couch to turn it into a bed but we traveled my wife and i in it with a hundred pound golden retriever and it did not work out so we built that bed and whatnot the quilts and stuff are quilts that were made by my mom so it's all hand worked and whatnot. The curtains on the, the rear doors were something I just saw one day and it was something different and I thought they were cool. Kind of fit the period, the 70s type hippie style that we were going to look for with the paisleys and the purples and the quilts. And the, it has behind the cabinet at night, it has black lights that shine. So. I'd like to do some other stuff to the inside. This door on this side it will be gold winged the next time anybody sees it probably. It uh be shining. Yeah, it, it, we're a member of Homegrown Customs and the gentleman that did the airbrush work, Carlos Montoya, is also a member of Homegrown Customs. Well, the interior now was done by my wife, I, and my son. 
over a period of time. The, the headliner, we, we built for it, insulated the roof fully, and I was kind of debating whether to put a van or, but I have a real hard time cutting holes in my van. I, like the CB radio is still not installed because I can't bring myself to, to cut a hole in it. Mm. Going back to the roof, the roof is uh, actually quilt material that I got out of the Midwest. Mm. And uh, we wanted something different, something that when you're lying down kind of looks like the, the sky over wow. here at night. The cabinetry is original from a 76 van that my son and I, a gentleman had it advertised on Craigslist and we went up there and bought basically the whole inside of that van and it's been dispersed between three or four vans now just to keep the stuff rolling but anytime I can reuse any earlier stuff we will go ahead and do it like the the pole going across that holds the curtains is original from the 76. Insulated, I looked for shag and it was a hard time finding shag, so we went with what, what's in it and it seems to work out better with the, like I said, we travel with a large dog and, oh, yeah. and, and you, know, you, you can get to the storage in the back and the jacks and toolkits and whatnot are under there and there's charge ports hidden here and there and well, not LED lights. Some of the lighting in it is the old style light I haven't changed over yet. It has full neon and LED underneath all the way around. It's that night that shines in purple. Uh, future for this fan is the front end's going to be lowered and it's going to get a flare kit. But that's about it. I'm, I'm about. Now, I, I say that, but that like everything else when you're building a car van truck whatever it may be changes probably weekly so uh, susie the other side says grumpy which most of the time that's me i'm grumpy uh, i have a bad back and knee so um, people say i'm not that friendly but once you get to know me i'm all right i guess the grill is, is for a pickup truck that we modified to fit in the van because there wasn't any available for the vans. So between the factory headlight doors and that grill, we modified it to fit. It's actually for an 85 to 87 Chevrolet square body pickup. 